Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's men's world rankings preview, um, the rugby championship gets underway this weekend and top spots up to play for because the box having playing against uh, Wallabies are quite far behind them. Um, could potentially surrender first place and actually drop as low as third if uh, the wrong results for South Africa, the right results for New Zealand, for example, were to take place. So basically, we're going to go through the world ranking preview, look at exactly what kind of the um, permutations are and uh, what we can expect from this weekend. Uh, obviously, not too many matches this weekend, so there's not a lot of movement that might happen. Um, there's not that as many sort of scenarios we have to go through. Um, to see, but basically what's going to happen is we'll go through the, the sort of main stats and then we'll go through sort of each individual match and what the kind of uh, the points difference are and hopefully by showing you exactly kind of where the differentials are, uh, we can all have a bit of an idea of exactly what's going to happen this weekend with regards to the world rankings. Before we do that, please do smash like on the video, please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, let's get into it, shall we? So that is the world ranking stats. Um, so basically, it's a summary of, of what might yet happening happen. So uh, if we look at it over there, it uh, says that South Africa will surrender top spot in the rankings to Ireland if they fail to beat Australia in Brisbane. That's just it doesn't matter how sort of many um, points a loss means no longer number one in the world. Um, however, we could also drop as low as third if we are beaten by more than 15 points and New Zealand win their opener against Argentina. So even if uh, Argentina, for I mean, New Zealand be Argentina by one point, if we lose by more than 15 and they win, we will go down to third, New Zealand in the second, and Ireland into first. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot improve our rating with the victory of Australia due to the 14.15 points differential. It shows you just how big a gap there really is. Uh, between the two uh, the two teams and um, yeah I think in that sort of circumstance for example uh, it shows you why we are the overwhelming favorites this weekend and why we have to get the job done um, the same thing is true for New Zealand in third as they sit 8.73 rating points ahead of Argentina um, and that's before the home waiting is uh, is factored in and obviously they are at home um, the All Blacks though are safe in third place irrespective of the outcome of their match against the Argentina because they cannot drop below France whilst Argentina will replace Scotland in sixth if they manage to beat the All Blacks and victory will be enough to lift Australia above Italy into eighth place while seventh place is also in their reach should they win by more than 15 points and Argentina lose. So up to seventh is the highest that Australia can go. Up to sixth is the highest Argentina can go. Up to second is the highest uh, New Zealand can go. South Africa can remain first but can go as low as uh, third. So let's have a look at the games, shall we? And um, over here, there we can see um, what is happening there. So, an Australia win by 15 points or less. We'll see Australia. So, so at the top there is our current rankings. So, Australia was 78.96 ranking points. So, that's at 93.11. So, uh, Australia win by 15 points or less. Australia will go up to 80.96, South Africa down to 91.11. Uh, more than 15 point loss uh, for South Africa will see Australia rise to almost 82 with 81.96. South Africa fall a further point down if they lose by 15 points to 90.11. If it is a draw, uh, South Africa will go up to 92.11 and uh, Australia will be at 79.96. Uh, South Africa, for example, win it will be no change. Australia would... Um, also be un unchanged regardless of the of the the loss so basically if it's if we win doesn't matter what the score is there'll be no change to those points over there similarly for example New Zealand win by 15 points or less for example no change for Argentina so those won't change the only way that would change for example is a draw which would see New Zealand slip down to 89.37 Argentina rise up to 82.64 and um an Argentina win by less than 15 would see New Zealand drop from 8 to 88 0.837 and Argentina, um, so 0.37, Argentina down to 83.64, up to the 83.64. And a win by more than 15 points will see Australia, uh, sorry, New Zealand drop from 90.37 to 87.37. So a full three points down. Argentina can rise uh, three points uh, to 84.64. So those are all the mathematical things. There's a couple of, of stats, for example. We're going to go through this more when it comes to the actual official preview. Uh, the things to note, for example, Rick, we Luke Pierce for Australia versus Safka. And uh, if we look at um, the uh, New Zealand versus Argentina game, for example, Angus Gardner, your referee over there. 
So let me know what you think. Where do we think do we see all four teams? Probably, in theory, we probably won't see any changes, I don't think. I think, in theory, it should be a comfortable Slavka victory. It should be a comfortable New Zealand victory as well. So I don't think we'll see too many changes. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.